Buckminster Fuller had a few things to say about politics and the future of humanity and how we get from here to a better place. I'm going to read you a few quotes from him. Few people realize that political action offers little solution to the world's major problems. Few understand that the elite have created political parties in order to prevent real change from ever taking place. The political arena is merely the sty in which two or more mutually hostile agencies, created by the same hidden hand, get the chance to pummel one another. As alternative researcher Yuri Lina so brilliantly put it, when the left-wing Freemason is finished, the right-wing Freemason takes over. The point has been emphasized by many an insider. The elementary principle of all deception is to attract the enemy's attention to what you wish him to see and to distract his attention from what you do not wish him to see, said General Sir Archibald Wavell. The world's power structures have always divided to conquer and have always kept divided to keep conquered. As a consequence, the power structure has so divided humanity not only into special function categories, but into religious and language and color categories, that individual humans are now hopelessly inarticulate in the face of the present crisis. They consider their political representation to be completely corrupted. Therefore, they feel almost utterly helpless. It was from the book Critical Path. The next quote, parading in multitudes, young people, demand that their political leaders take steps to bring about peace and plenty. The fallacy of this lies in their mistaken age-old assumption that the problem is one of political reform. More and more young people around the world are learning of the new and surprising alternative to politics, the design science revolution, which alone can solve the problem. Young people know that they need no more license to invent the tools that will make the world work than the Wright brothers needed a license to invent one of the most needed, more with less, tools, the airplane. Their revolution is a bloodless revolution that brings peace in the only way it may ever become effective, by elimination of the physical wants that always underlie war. That quote was from The Prospect for Humanity, an article in the magazine Saturday Review, August 29th, 1964. The final quote, a new self-employed architect scientist is the one in all the world who may accelerate realization of a high standard survival for all. It's now completely practical within the scope of available technology. That was from Ideas and Integrities, a Spontaneous Autobiographical Disclosure. I will leave you with these thoughts and wish you well. Namaste.